Ocean beaches are holy ground for me. Walking along the beach, feeling the gritty sand beneath my feet, the power of the wind against my body, the mesmerizing rhythm of the waves crashing. Whatever I bring to the beach in the way of tension falls away, and I am drawn immediately into the presence of God. When God spoke to Moses through the burning bush, God told Moses to take off his sandals, for he was standing on holy ground. The ground is holy. Wherever we stand on the earth, it is holy. And yet we so often live as if it is not at all holy, as if some places, some ground does not matter. As people of faith and followers of Christ, we know that God's holy ground has been placed in our care, under our stewardship. As we witness all the effects of climate change, our call, our responsibility is clear. Green Chalice is the Care for Creation ministry of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ. With support from Blessed Tomorrow, Green Chalice is helping congregations and ministries connect our faith in Christ to how we live in God's creation. My name is uh, Willie Redman, and I'm the garden coordinator for Harvesting Hope Community Garden here in Arlington, Texas. Our senior minister, Andy Mangum, he did a sermon on uh, being good stewards, and uh, he said we have an acre of land in the back back here that uh, is going to waste and that's not being used for anything. And he said, we need to do something about using it better, maybe a community garden. For three years, I thought, well, wow, that's a great idea. Somebody ought to go with that. Well, after about three years, being sort of the slow person I am, I sort of figured, well, you know, maybe I'm the one that's supposed to do it. Four or five years later, here we are. We, uh, we have 58 raised beds and they're all leased. We actually have a waiting list now, a grape orchard, fruit trees, we have a composting program that's doing great. In the last couple of months, added chickens to our program, which allows us to take fresh eggs to the local food bank. During the summer months, we probably donate at least 100 pounds, maybe more uh, food to the local food bank. We try to do our best to, to be good stewards of our land. We try to get as much as we can off the grid. Uh, we have a water reclamation project. Uh, right now, all the power in our garden is being generated by our solar panel that we put in this last weekend. I, I feel it's a calling for disciples to make an impact in our environment. It's just one more way we're trying to uh, walk lightly on the earth. A movement is growing among congregations who seek to make a commitment to care for creation. Through Green Chalice, we are asking congregations to form teams to name three ways their community can walk and live more gently on the earth. These Green Chalice congregations are leading the way, and not only in our denomination. With the help of Blessed Tomorrow, they are offering prophetic leadership to show how caring for God's creation can bring wholeness to a fragmented world. Whether you are on an Oregon beach, or in a park in a neighborhood near you. God's creation is holy ground. Let's be good stewards of the home God has given to us.